Jimmy, another session in the bank now, three weeks on Saturday, kind of how, how's the body holding up, how's it feeling? Yeah, really good mate, we're in a really good position. Uh, massive thank you to Jason, Steffi, Johnny Wattam as well. Uh, also a big shout out to uh, Kelly McGill, my sports massage therapist and uh, Eco Power Wellness Centre for all my recovery treatments. Uh, we're in a really good position. Three weeks Saturday, I'm looking forward to it. Last time I had a, a much longer camp, you were waiting five days and you were dragging on. And this time it's been a lot shorter. Um, do you feel like that plays into your hands a little bit, knowing that? You know when the fight is, you know when to wrap up the training, etc. I mean, I'm always ready, even when I'm out the gym, I'm, all, I'm never out the gym. Uh, I'm always running, play football, always active. But uh, yeah, like you say, what have we had, nine, ten weeks camp? We'll be more than ready and uh, I hope he knows what's to come. Fantastic support from, from Doncaster, as always, getting behind yourself. Um, like I said, tickets nearly sold out. Um, just a quick shout out to, to them and obviously tickets still available as well to, to buy for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Massive thank you to everyone who's already got tickets. Uh, Loyalty is royalty, you know what I mean? Nearly 300 tickets coming over from Doncaster to Manchester. Uh, we still do have an handful of tickets remaining. I also do have a bus on, £20 return, leaving from the Wheatley Hotel on the day at 2 o'clock and returning back to Doncaster at 2 o'clock. So if you are wanting tickets, just give me all Molly a message and we'll sort you out. Next Saturday as well. At the Rovers ground, Doncaster Rovers getting behind yourself as well. What does it mean that the, the local football club are getting behind yourself and getting the support behind you? Yeah, it's a proud moment for me. You know, as a little kid, I've always gone and supported my local team. Uh, it's great to have the backing of them and, you know, invite me down to go on the pitch at half time and whatnot and see the lads. It'll, uh, it's good. Like I said, there, three weeks to go. Um, do you feel that this time you'll be able to put the rivalry to bed? Yeah, if the rivalry is there, you know. It is what it is, but uh, I'm going to make a statement. As you say, I'm not going to roll over, as proven in the last one. And uh, we're bringing like, my fire on all cylinders from the very first bell. And uh, I'm going to put on a big performance. What's the last time you did win comfortably in many people's eyes? Do you feel like you have to do anything different this time or expect a different Campbell Atten? Obviously, I'm expecting a new Campbell Atten. Uh, He's got a new team behind him and whatever else, but uh, when the going gets tough, let's see what he's got left in the tank, innit? Final one, Jimmy Joe. Obviously, the sponsors, massive, massive. Um, I'm just obviously training full time for a big fight like this. Still looking for sponsors to come and jump on board, mate, support yourself. How important is it to kind of get sponsors on board to help yourself? Yeah, there's still slots available for this fight for sponsorship. Uh, just want to say a massive thank you to uh, all my loyal sponsors who's been there from day one and backed me from the off. You know, it's a massive helping camp. I haven't been for work for nine, ten weeks, you know, so I'm not earning as much as I'd like to. Uh, sponsorship, it's one of the main things in boxing. If you can get a good sponsorship team behind you, then you're well away. I know that this year, obviously, you fought Campbell and unfortunately lost as well, where a lot of people thought it went your way. But would this probably be the most enjoyable year in boxing, obviously winning on the big stage and fighting for a new title. Would you say this has been your most enjoyable year in boxing? Yeah, definitely, you know. Life's a journey, not a destination, so you just got to take it as it comes. Like you say, a split decision loss in my last fight, but it's only on paper, you know. I thought I won the fight, fair play to Kyle and his people. They're going on to fight for different titles and whatever else. I wish him all the best, but... Uh, I'm not overlooking Campbell Atten and uh, he's got it to come, mate. So looking for Jimmy Joe winning a good Christmas to celebrate. Definitely.